Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading session, Wednesday, the 19th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of market uh, uh, news or market end of day uh, market summary for European indices, uh, the uh, European markets generally across the board finished positive stroke flat. Okay, except the FTSE 100. Now, the FTSE itself finished down um, 33 points, minus 0.46%, and that's mainly in the back of obviously a stronger sterling, uh, hurting exports, and obviously the uncertainty regarding this so-called sudden and snap election. Now, from my understanding and my reading, yes, we've had an emotive reaction thus far, okay, uh, given the fact that you also have the French election going into Sunday, but the market really has overdone it. From my perspective, it certainly is. Uh, from my perspective, the, the bearish news certainly is baked into the FTSE now, especially with the, uh, the the sudden drop. Now we do have oil prices sliding as well, so again, that certainly isn't helping the FTSE move recover or gain higher. Although Mr. Trump has uh, alluded to his uh, tax reform, his uh, stimulus plan, infrastructure sp uh, st infrastructure sp stimulus, and also his health care plan, which again has helped Europe, your U.S. equities uh, remain uh, above board. The German DAX finished up 0.13%, the French CAC up 0.27%. So, again, certainly a bullish sign of stabilization. Okay, In terms of economic data, in, term, in terms of Europe, the only two numbers were the uh, European inflation numbers that came in in line, and then the European trade balance that came in stronger, and therefore one would argue for a bullish outcome there. Other than that, uh, North Korean situation is still in the background, uh, but nothing major, no escalation as of, so, as of yet. More stability, uh, if anything. Okay, in terms of uh, commodities, again, oil prices certainly feeling the pressure. If I bring up a chart of oil. You can see here, oil certainly uh, flushing on the downside, selling off quite sharply. We are now coming into potential support in this zone here, uh, key support of 51. So again, look for potential support and look for a potential bounce in oil here. If I go to the four-hour chart. Okay, again, you can see the potential support zone. On the price of oil and also you got the 200 ma just below as well so certainly coming into a support zone for oil and therefore will be bullish uh, and certainly will negate the the bearish reaction thus far so again watch out for a potential bounce in oil okay uh, in terms of the market going forward so certainly coming into a support zone in terms of the uh, moving copper let's just bring up copper as well copper on daily chart certainly has put in a potential bottoming tail so you're looking to bottom out here Let's see uh, how, uh, if you can stabilize and start to potentially put in a pivot. We've certainly put in a bullish uh, engulfing candle there. And it'll be interesting to see how copper moves. Uh, again, daily chart is has put in a doji and therefore you are looking for some sort of stability. In terms of commodities in general, let's just bring up the commodity index if I've got that here. Okay, world index fund. No, no commodities as of such, okay. What I can say is that the Shanghai index certainly is coming into support now. Okay, Shanghai index into support, looking at gap fill support, 200 MA. Okay, so therefore looking for a potential bounce in the Shanghai overnight, which in turn obviously indicates a move higher in global equities as, as well. Okay, so let's look at the actual technical picture now. The uh, German DAX into that FIB 75% has closed the gap. Okay, stabilize at the gap. You do have this key diagonal trend line that's coming into play as well. And therefore, one would argue for a potential uh, bounce. 60-minute chart of the German DAX, yes, you, as you can see here, clearly closed the gap. Okay, gap fills is certainly going to act as potential support, so bear that in mind. And looking for a pop. If that fails, then you do have the next support level at 11,900. From my perspective, you're looking at testing the upper channel now at 12,100 on the German DAX. So one would argue are in the bullish camp. I would certainly remain in the bullish camp as such. In terms of the French CAC, again, yes, you do have political uncertainty, bear that in mind, but it certainly seems like we're brewing some sort of inverted head and shoulders formation here. Okay, so certainly looking for an inverted H&S, so you have the right left shoulder here. Okay, so the head's gone in. Okay, looking for right shoulder consolidation before we start to rip higher. You're looking at 5035 on the upside in terms of the European equities. Okay, so certainly looking for a, a potential pop on the French CAC. Moving over to a 60-minute chart on the French CAC, let's just bring this up for you again, looking for stability, we've certainly bounced and held that bombing tail at 44980, okay, so again, from my perspective, looking for a resurgence up to 50, 
at 60 and potentially close a gap at 5100 as well especially given the fact that ECB QE remains intact. FTSE weekly chart into key diagonal or horizontal support now. Okay, we've broken out that four uh, rising uh, symmetrical wedge. The daily chart certainly has support here at this region, so therefore looking for a short squeeze bounce. Yes, I know the uh, H&S target of 7085. Okay, oil prices aren't helping at the moment. Once they stabilize, the FTSE certainly should stabilize too. A lot of support in this region from 71120, 71. 100 7105 and then obviously 70 7, 100 so solid solid support in this zone and therefore looking for a short squeeze bounce it's given, especially given the fact that we've uh, sold off from 7330 down to 7 almost on a 230 point drop okay so certainly looking for some uh, rebound and uh, stabilization uh, at present okay 10 minute chart the FTSE 100 certainly has put in a double bottom okay that double bottom expected to stay and is expected to hold and therefore looking to potentially pop higher yeah any pop here initial resistance is expected at 7143 the next one is at 7151 and then gap fill at 7160 i did expect gap fill today but we failed to do so okay so let's see exactly how the uh, the market unfolds there okay right that certainly seems to be the status quo in terms of the FTSE let's look at the euro stocks now okay so euro stocks certainly uh, some stability here now 60 minute chart Support held at 3410. Now looking to potentially pop higher here up to 3445 and then potentially close the gap at 3470. So watch out for that. Okay, watch out for that. 10 minute chart uh, again, inverted head and shoulders formation for, uh, attempted here. Okay, no lower low, therefore bias is bullish and therefore looking for a potential pop. Daily chart again holding that gap. Okay, whether or not, whether or not we uh, carve out a bear flag and then move lower, that's a different story altogether. There's a possibility that we could even trigger a HS formation i mean this is your uh, very strong possibility here consolidation here before we flush even lower down to gap fill below so again all possibilities all eventualities are on the table let's see exactly how this market unfolds from my understanding all the bearish news really is baked into the cake now and you are looking for a potential short squeeze especially given the fact that the s p 500 now on the 10 minute chart is into gap fill we've closed that gap We're looking for a potential pop also on the 60 minute chart You'll see on the S&P 500 we have carved out, or we are carving out, an inverted head and shoulders formation. Uh, you can certainly clearly see this here. Okay, so carving this out, and therefore now looking to potentially pop. So uh, looking for a pop on the S&P up to uh, probably 23.65 and 23.75. I'd not be surprised if you continue to move higher and potentially even make new highs. So my argument really is bias bullish, and bulls certainly uh, will fight back here. Uh, I think the only catalyst at the moment really stopping this rally is oil. As soon as you see some sort of stabilization here, then we should see a pop in oil. Okay, on that note, uh, and pop in uh, equities as well along with oil. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly download the latest app. Goodbye now.